no taste. So you withdraw all the senses. And you're also doing the locks mm. uh, to massage the energy, uh, build up energy, store energy. It all happens automatically. Mm. There are other exercises where you can build up energy and store it in various places. Um, but that's more hands. Uh, we can do later. So next step is hands. Mm. But remember it, it's eyes and mouth and mm -hmm. everything basically in the head lock and hands lock and then try it. and then so eyes and mouth first then hands uh oh hold on eyes mouth then chin so we're going from top okay, to bottom tomorrow. then chin then hands then stomach oh, yeah. and then mm -hmm. both yes so when you're ready breathe out then breathe in, then eyes, mouth, chin, hands, stomach, bottom, hold for five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, and then backwards, so bottom first, then stomach, then hands, then uh, neck, then eyes, and then breathe out. Shake, little shake. <clears throat> Happy so far? Yeah. <laughs> so we can't jump straight to the seven or eight or nine or ten or eleven locks. <laughs> <laughs> How many locks are there? Now we have six locks. Okay, so the next one you can guess is the foot. Foot lock. So not foot locker, which is a shock, okay. <laughs> but foot lock. Okay. So we just close the, same as the hand, we okay. close, Grass. so we close the, the foot. Um, when you're ready, so breathe out. When do you close the foot with the hands? The timing? Um, it's probably the last one. The last so one. So movement. The movement and then. So if you imagine going down the body, mm -hmm. So whatever comes first, if there's a line, first mm -hmm. eyes, then mouth, then chin, mm -hmm. then arms, then stomach, then bottom, then feet. Okay. So breathe out when you're ready. Then breathe in. And then from the top downwards to all the locks, eyes, mouth. Hands, chin, abdomen, bottom, and feet. And then reverse order. And then breathe out. Remember to stop for one second which helps the, the whole exercise. Okay, so far, next guess. What's the next close? No guess? No guess. Is there oh, another lock? Yes, one more lock. <laughs> uh, if you think back to what I explained about the other exercise, out, stop, out, mm -hmm. stop. So Mulband is one of the classical mm -hmm. locks. Udyan mm -hmm. is one lock, chin lock. Mm -hmm. We've added eyes, mouth, hands, feet. Eat. There's one left, which is uh, front lock. Oh, front lock. I <laughs> 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 use the front lock. <laughs> uh, it may take several weeks mm -hmm. for you to do the front lock. So uh, it's either, so the main or female, but front lock. What that means is if you were um, going to the toilet, mm -hmm. if you do that lock, mm -hmm. then there's no water at all, mm -hmm. no drops or anything. Uh, that feeling. So, not yeah. that feeling, yes. So for example, yeah. suppose you went for a walk mm -hmm. in, the, in the park, mm -hmm. but you had a, a drink mm -hmm. of water, mm -hmm. maybe two liters mm -hmm. you drink, 
As you walk, it goes through the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell me. What's that? Yeah. Um, you want to go to the toilet, but your toilet is 20 minutes walking, mm -hmm. and then you have to lock it. Lock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So male or female, you have to lock, mm -hmm. and then when you go, then you release. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. But that lock, that's what the final lock is. Well, the wool band lock is more like uh, squeezing the anus. Yes. And yeah. like the last front log is more like stopping the pee. Yes. Okay. You can call it back lock as well. If you back lock, okay. <laughs> back lock and front, front lock. lock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in. It's very difficult to explain to people in general mm -hmm. because they get worried about the back and the front. Okay. I you guys <laughs> have it's okay to talk about hands, feet, yeah. face, uh, stomach, okay. but when it gets to the back or the front, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I have to be careful. Oh, yeah. So I can't tell you on the first session, yeah. second, even in the first course, we're in the intermediate or there's more advanced mm -hmm. course, I can tell you. Mm -hmm. And also, we're adults, mm -hmm. not children, mm -hmm. I can explain it. More importantly, this is what the yoga masters have studied. This is the instructions they've given us. Right. So we respect it in that form. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't abuse it. Yeah. We don't tell other people to yeah. uh, before they're ready. Mm -hmm. yeah. So don't explain any of this mm -hmm. to anyone um, unless they've gone through the foundation course and mm -hmm. built up. So this tape, uh, will be stopped mm. for public use before mm. this exercise uh, or much before um, i'll keep this as a separate just our own mm. uh, record mm. um, so front lock is the final one okay. um, i need to explain a little bit more for the back lock mm. in the books it's not explained very well uh, they say squeeze the bottom mm -hmm. or yeah. whatever. Uh, that's not actually the rule mm -hmm. So let's get a little bit technical. Mm -hmm. uh, the actual muscle is called the sphincter. Sphincter. Anal sphincter. Yeah. Muscle mm -hmm. joint. So where the books, if you imagine this is the mm -hmm. two sides, mm -hmm. the books describe squeezing. Mm -hmm. No, that's not movement. Mm -hmm. It's actually. Lifting up. Pardon? Lifting up. Yeah, so yeah. imagine the anus, yeah. it's the sphincter mu muscle there we're trying to lift up yeah. and it, you can feel it uh, coming up. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> nothing to do with the... <laughs> I talked to her like, the front log will be stopping the pee. Yes. And the bad log is stopping the poo. <laughs> <laughs> In summary, yes. <laughs> um, but my request is that you don't mention it yeah. to anyone until Already. they've done yeah. the foundation yeah. and the middle course. So this is more of the moment. Is there something that you have to in the counseling? Yes? If you don't translate my question. <laughs> oh, okay. What's the question? Like, if you do the multi locks, yeah. is there any possibility for like overheating the top of your head? If you follow the instructions, It'll so be safe. we don't do it tightly, mm -hmm. we do it just light mm -hmm. firmly. Mm -hmm. Um, the, all of these are safe exercises. Swamiji has done his own yeah. research on himself, mm. then only to family, then only to students, mm. then only to friends, mm. then only to the public. So he's checked all of this, mm. it's all safe. Um, if you do too many repetitions, it could be bad. Mm. Stay with three mm. on a daily basis, so three in the evening, that's fine. Mm you'll get benefit, uh, you won't get anything negative. If you suddenly think, oh, this is a good secret exercise, I'm going to do 50 times, mm. 
and then you do 50, then you haven't followed my instructions and you'll probably cause some damage in one day. Uh, if you build it up, you can do it. So you this okay, I'll tell you. Uh, Swamiji told me this one. On the first day do one. Mm. On the second day do two. Mm. Sec uh, third day do three. Mm. And then you can build up to about twenty. Mm, twenty. Okay. Safely. Mm. Yeah? Because you've done it slowly. Mm -hmm. If you try to do it all in one day you might not get the benefit, you might get something else. Um, and I would say don't uh, respect the exercise, do it as it's as it's taught. Don't try to do some variation of it. Uh, so movement is not about the, the big muscles mm -hmm. just squeezing, it's about the little muscle drawing up. Which, when you do it, you can feel the difference. That is squeezing, mm. but drawing up mm. is a different feeling. You'll know when it happens. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the same, I gave the example, if you drink lots of water and then go for a walk, then you need to lock until you find mm -hmm. the toilet. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. So similar, if you uh, suppose you wake up in the morning, mm. but someone else is in the toilet, okay then you need to lock <laughs> and then try, uh, not panic too much until they finish and then you can unlock. Uh, yeah. Lock. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a funny story where maybe about 10 people were in the apartment uh, when I I think it was when I arrived, first time to see Swamiji. And we were leaving back to his uh, ashram mm -hmm. uh, in about three days. So he was teaching a little bit, one or two days. When it was time to go back, um, I saw Swamiji <laughs> rushing around. Mm -hmm. And I thought, why is he rushing uh, mm -hmm. around? And. Uh, I found out later that he, because I was in the car, mm -hmm. but he was maybe two stories mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. And what happened was it, uh, he wanted to go to the, the toilet, yeah. but the toilet was occupied. Occupied. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he was actually shout, uh, going, uh, rushing around saying, uh, Mulbad, Mulbad. Right. Mul <laughs> 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 so, if it can happen to Swamiji, it can happen to us as well. So, final exercise for this group is, uh, I mean for the this is exercise group. Um, so, start from the top. Uh, eyes, mouth, chin, hands, stomach, back, <laughs> front, mm. uh, and feet. All right. So this is the super duper. <laughs> so initially, don't hold too long. Uh -huh. Five seconds is enough, just to learn. Uh, as you practice, you can increase one more second mm -hmm. every day. Uh, so. Um, See how it goes. So breathe out, breathe in, and then from the top downwards, so eyes, mouth, chin, hands, stomach, front, oh no, back, front, and then feet. Lots of locks. Obviously, Swamiji was joking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Why, obviously? Because he can control any muscle in his body. Mm -hmm. For example, when he 
gives a demonstration, he can point to any muscle, mm -hmm. or another person mm -hmm. can point to any muscle, mm -hmm. and he will open and close the muscle, or contract and release the muscle. You saw it? Any muscle. Uh, Jack and John have reported it. All right. So I haven't seen it directly, but they reported it. So second hand information. Not first hand. I haven't seen it myself, but people I trust have explained it. And so when he rushes around, it's more for our uh, humour. <laughs> to make us laugh. Not, not, not that he needs to do more, but... Uh, but. So, uh, because that's the last one, mm -hmm. we can try two more, mm -hmm. just to finish that. So, breathe out. Breathe in, and then from the top down, just do all the locks, multiple locks. Don't hold too tightly, just very lightly. Count to five, one, two, three, four, five. And then unlock in reverse, and then breathe out. So that's all the locks. There's one variation. Instead of holding the breath in, mm -hmm. we breathe out completely mm -hmm. and then do the locks from the top down. Okay. So try that. So first breathe in, full breath in, then breathe out. Hold the breath for at least five seconds. Do the locks, eyes, etc., 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 all front, back, hands, feet, lock. So with the breath held out, maybe you can't do it too long, one, two, three, and then release all the locks. So that's a variation. Um, so the main one is with the breath held, mm -hmm. variation was with the breath held out, mm -hmm. and I'll show you another variation. So in this one, we don't go step by step. Once you've done lots of practice, you just do all together okay. in one go. So try that first with the breath held in, mm -hmm. then again, or have a rest, then again with the breath held out, uh, and have a rest. So uh, for the first one, breathe out first, then slowly breathe in fully, hold the breath and then lock everything immediately in one step. And then you can release uh, all in one step as well. So one step could be one second for example or half a second. So basically immediately everything together. <coughs> Hold it for five seconds and then release all together. And then the second variation, uh, with the breath out, hold the breath out and then do the same complete lock, uh, multi-lock, not even three, 
not four, not five, not six, <laughs> many locks all together, all in one go, and then hold it. When the breath is out, we can't hold it too long. When the breath is in, we can hold maybe ten seconds. When the breath out, we can't hold too long, maybe three seconds. So from I can point you to various websites where it will explain Mahabund and the benefits and so on. Uh, but I think you can also find yourself mm -hmm. the information. You'll only find the three in general. Yes. You won't find all of these full lot. Mahabund. <laughs> this is Maha Mahabund. Maha Mahabund. <laughs> great, great uh, look. The full. Um, uh, there's nothing more to look. I can't think of anything else to look. So everything covered in the face, uh, stomach mm -hmm. or abdomen, the front and back, arms and feet, and not arms, hands and feet. feet. There's nothing more to look. Mm -hmm. The only other possibility could be your mind. Yeah. Lock the or close the mind. That's the only possibility. But this is a super 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 lock. <laughs> super super lock. <laughs> uh, don't do too many. Only do three yeah. maximum in one day. And don't do too tight, whether it's the hands, feet, or, or front or back, or head, not tight. Just enough, just um, enough to, so, just enough to hold something, not tight. Because it's not a physical exercise, mm. it's an energy exercise. So we, we don't want to waste energy by doing too tight. Just lightly get into the position, hold it for a while, and then release. And as you practice, you might find uh, altogether uh, lock and altogether release. Mm -hmm. That's what you find more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then even after that, then you go back to basics and you suddenly realize, oh, individually is good as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then suddenly you go back to the, the full altogether lock and release. So we don't say one is right or wrong, uh, one method is right or wrong. We say depending on your condition at the time, you can choose whichever one you like. Neither is right or wrong. Uh, choose which one you like, which you enjoy. This is one of the principles in yoga, that there's so many exercises we can choose which ones we like. Um, which will make us happy in the day and then for the next day we'll be more encouraged to practice because we know we can choose what we like and, and be happy. Whereas if it was something else that you had to do it this way, you had to do these exercises, <coughs> then perhaps you won't be happy and then you won't be happy the next day <laughs> and maybe you stop doing the whatever it is. So one of the principles uh, in yoga is because there's so much variety. Choose what you like, what you enjoy. It could be, it's not the same for different people. It could be one person maybe more interested in breathing, another <coughs> uh, more interested in energy exercises. Uh, for example, about 10 years ago, or no, 15 years ago, I became more interested in the energy exercises. Mm. So things like rolling the ball, various Kundalini uh, mantras. <coughs> I, I have been talking a long time, <laughs> so I'm losing the, the voice. You need a water? Uh, yeah, thanks. Water would be good. Uh, what was I suggesting next? Oh, there's one more variation, no, neither good or bad, a variation. <coughs> so in the beginning, we're going from top to bottom. The variation is start at the bottom, uh -huh. so start with the feet, then bottom, stomach, up and front, 
and then, then backwards. So that's a variation which is allowed uh, with and without holding the breath. So one with holding the breath and going upwards, and then second time holding the breath out <coughs> and going upwards. So there's lots of uh, variation. Just choose what is comfortable, what will make you happy on the day. So I think uh, we can stop there. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember what time we started. Maybe. Well, thank you. It was three, three, three o'clock. So should be okay.